Hey everyone, it's CL. In today's video, I have a readathon wrap up for you, and I wasn't planning on making this video because I kind of feel like I missed the boat on having a wrap up because this readathon feels like it happened so long ago. Um, but I decided to go ahead and film it. If anything, it will expose you to some books that you might that might sound interesting to you, which might get you to kind of check it out if you're interested. But anyways. Um, during May 7th through May 13th, I participated in Book Buddyathon, and I learned about this readathon very late, the day before it was going to start. So I didn't have the opportunity to ask like a booktube person to to be my buddy. So instead, I asked my kid, "Will you be my buddy during this readathon?" And she said yes. So um, with this readathon, there were five challenges. I'll go ahead and go through each of the challenges and let you know what I read. Now, one of the first challenges is to read a book with your buddy's favorite color on the cover. And my buddy said her favorite color was pink and purple. So for that challenge, I picked up Dead Man Wonderland. As you can see, um, she's this girl here is wearing pink and purple. This is volume three. But in order to read volume three, I have to first read volume two because or else I won't know what's going on. Now, if you're not familiar with this manga series, it is about a boy who is falsely accused of a pretty horrific crime and gets sent to prison. He learns very early on that things are really unethical in this prison. Uh, this is probably one of the most messed up mangas I have ever read, but at the same time, it's so good. It's so addicting. It's so very addicting, and I just can't get enough. Um, it is pretty violent, so if you're not if you don't really like violence, um, you might definitely will want to stay away from this series. So the next challenge was to read a book that contained the first letter of your buddy's first name. And I had a lot of trouble looking for a book that had the title with uh, starting with L. So I went out on a limb and decided to pick up Prodigy, which of course is the sequel to Legend. Um, and I actually am really enjoying this series. It is about a young guy named Day who is one of the most wanted criminals within the Republic which he resides and his world collides with another character that he meets in the story and they kind of come together uh, somehow some way and kind of learn more about the agenda of the Republic. The next challenge was to choose three books and let your buddy pick one and out of the three books that I chose my buddy chose Shadow Magic and I took off the dust cover but the cover looks like this and I ended up not finishing it. This was one of the last books that I read during the readathon so I didn't complete it but I got a quarter of the way. It's really enjoyable but I think it could be better. I'm hoping that the storyline gets better as I continue on since I have a little bit of ways to go um, but it's feeling like a three-star read right now. I'm hoping as I continue to read on that it will turn into a four-star read because it did get a lot of great reviews um, on Goodreads so I'm holding out hope that it gets better. The next challenge was to choose a book that you want to read and I wanted to read Until Death Do Us Part which is a manga series. I believe this is a bind up of volume one and two and this series is about a girl here who is psychic and she's pretty accurate in her predictions and she is fleeing her kidnappers and while she is fleeing she runs into this male character here and he she asks him to be her protector and he actually agrees and you as you're reading this series you will learn more about this male protector character here that he has a lot of limitations and he shouldn't be able to do the things that he does in the series and yes so the best way I can describe this series is if you took the movie The Professional and mashed it with the TV show 24 you will have this manga series so if you like those two things that the movie for the professional and the TV show 24 I will think that you will like this moment series definitely one that I'm going to continue to read volume 2 or the end of this book left off on a cliffhanger as all mangas do so I gotta see what happens and continue on with this one so the last challenge that I had was to read a book with your book buddy and since my buddy is only six years old we read Fancy Nancy and the fanciest doll in the universe and if you're unfamiliar with this children's series it is about a sassy little girl who knows a lot of fancy words and one of the most favorite things 
within this book series is how beautifully illustrated the pages are. I'm just going to show you an example. If you can see how detailed and how beautifully colored, this is how it is in every book. The pages are so beautiful. It's one of my favorite children's book series. Highly recommend if you have children. Um, yeah, so this one, five stars. So that is my wrap up for my book buddy a thon readathon. Sorry this video is so late. I will try to be better about doing my wrap ups more so when the readathon is complete. But other than that, I hope that if you found any of these books that I covered interesting, that you go out on Goodreads or read the synopsis online. Um, other than that, thank you all for watching and I will see you later. So we have completed our first week of the Hot and Sticky Summer Writing Challenge and ideally every week I want to give you like a really quick video on how I'm doing with my progression through the challenge and any accomplishment or struggles that I've experienced.